All right, well, you've got to this um, window here. You click the link in the document, and you see that you're supposed to either click here or here to download this thing. And it should pop up in your bottom, you know, the bottom corner of this um, lesson or the of the window. And it gives you a warning, which by now you might know you keep it. So you hit keep. And then you get this little warning, and you say continue. And let's see if this thing's actually going to load. If it doesn't, then you click this to load it. And you start to see this little progress bar here. And now here we go. Okay, so we're not going to do anything with this. And, okay, I'll accept. And we won't do anything with this or this. We're going to go straight to the dating game. Okay. And, <clears throat> and you're going to see we have a decay curve here that looks similar to the one that we saw in the presentation or in the video presentation. And we have our carbon 14, uranium 238, and one called custom. What, now, we don't, it gives you this false impression that you can just make up whatever you want. But really, um, custom probably just means that. It's there are several other types of isotopes. So like one isotope might have a hundred thousand year. That's what the KY means, kilo years. <clears throat> hundred thousand years, or another isotope might be one million years, ten million years, a hundred million years. So custom really refers to you picking isotopes that they're just not specifying. Okay, but they do specify carbon and uranium. Okay. Um, we're selecting objects, not air right now. And I think we can leave it like that. So, <clears throat> so here we have it set back at carbon 14. And I did that because I'm going to demonstrate how to work this on some young things here. And as you know, young living things or things that were, that are dead, that are recently dead, um, are going to have carbon 14 in them and we can use that to date them. Okay. So here's how you do this. So if I bring this over here on the tree, look at that. It's got 100% of its original amount of carbon-14. Can you think of a reason why? Well, because it's still alive. It hasn't died. It still has a balance of carbon-14 between itself and the atmosphere. Um, so it's going to put zero in here. Let's check that. Yay! So now you know what happens when you do things right. You get a smiley. Okay. And what about this tree over here? Oh, it's only got 97%. Okay, so it must be quite a bit older. It's a little bit it's not living anymore. It's been dead for a while. How long has that tree been dead? Let's look at this skull over here. It's got 98% you can tell that this has not been dead as long because it has 98 percent and this only has 97. Well, let's see if we can get an age. <coughs> this one you have to use the scale here. So what you do is you take the green slider and we try to slide it to 97.4. There it is. It's 219 years old. Interesting. And we check our estimate. All right, so pretty easy, right? But it's going to get trickier down in these older things, and you're going to actually you're going to have to write out all the numbers. I'll do an example. So, if we take our carbon fourteen and we go down in here to like this rock, well, first of all, why won't it work on that rock? The rock's not carbon, so it wouldn't work on that. And it says zero. No wonder. Okay. Well, what else is another reason? It's really old. This is an animal. This is an animal. Zero. Zero. We're using the wrong isotope. So let's try uranium. Try it on there. Oh, 97%. What about this one? Huh. I wonder why it's not working on that. It must not be the right isotope. Might have to use a different one. Okay. 
So you get the idea. If, it, if you see 0%, maybe you're not using the right isotope. So you might have to choose custom. If I choose custom, let's see what happens. Let me choose like 100 million years. Does that work? Yeah, 34%. See? Some other isotope. I don't know what it is, but it's working. Let's use that as an example. So let's t put a number in. Estimate the age of this dinosaur skull. I got to get this to match up with 34%. I'm moving it on the scale. Oh, that's the wrong way. 34%. So I move down the scale until I get oh, 34.2. There it is. Okay, so it's 156 million years. And so students would like to type in, I'll do it wrong on purpose, 154.60. And you think you're going to get, oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, that's millions of years. So 154 million 600,000 years. Let's see if that's right. Yay! All right, that's how you do this. Okay, good luck.